welcome back. Stasa 23 here, back to use knife therapy, and I'm in um, New West Knife Works uh, off of Main Street in Park City, Utah. We're on vacation with the family. Here's their card. And, all right, this is their knife cases. Um, these are the customs right here, fixed blades, and a couple of folders. You have one from Ronage right here. Really cool titanium frame lock. Look at that back, look at that handle. That's beautiful. Hopefully y'all can see that good. Um, I like that one as well in the back. Let's see. Custom Skinner, Coco Bolo handle, very nice. Love it. This ain't Twist Damascus. And then here's another custom like Hunter. And my boy, Burvis Knives. God, he does such nice work. They have one of his customs, hand satin blade, if you can see that. Oh, no, we'll go back this way. Um, that is 154 CM 60 to 61, side cut, micarta. Yeah, his use of materials are just awesome. Here we go, I got to another sweet uh, custom fixed blade. Look at the handle. That the micarta, the two different kinds of micarta. That is beautiful. That's a hand forged with the raw finished hand forged Damascus. That maker, I've heard a lot of good things about him. There's it's rail stab knives, Jack rail stab. I follow him now on Instagram because he's doing some, some awesome stuff. All right, and this is their folding knives. I know some of y'all rather folding knives, so let's check it out. You got some Protex. You got the Godfather back in the back. You got the Godson. The SNG operator. Some Emerson collabs. And then here's some of the newer ones they have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. Right here. That one, right? That uh, Malibu is a textured scale. And then you have the textured runt. I was thinking about getting that. Looks like they sold the one I was looking at yesterday. I was, gonna, I was thinking about getting the Runt 5 with the other blade shape. You have two of the SBR fixed blades with one comes with the leather, one comes with the Kydex. You have the new port right here. Bunch of line steels. You have the uh, SOCOM Auto all the way in the back. It doesn't want to focus. And a 70 and an 85 double edge. More Microtex here. Two uh, Boker fixed blades. I love that little fixed blade right there. I thought about picking one up, but they're just kind of pricey for what they are. RWL 34 steel. It was a collab with, um, can't remember offhand. More Bokers, uh, some lockbacks and slip joints. I love that Barlow. Love it. They sold the other one I was looking at. And of course, I love those two in the back. The uh, clip points. One's a lockback, one's a slip joint. Got some ZTs. There's some ZTs, you got Kershaw's here, the knockout, one of their best folders. And of course, you got the bare knuckle. Is that, that's not the dividend, I, mean, I can't ever remember it. I'll try to put it on the screen if I remember. You have some launch series back here. Regular Kershaw, you got the Kershaw leak, you got the Kershaw random leak right there. You got a bunch of chives. Some shallots. I think I got that one right. And a few buck knives. Lone Spider Co. Uh, Emerson right there in the back. Dragonfly. <coughs> Here's one that I really like this Boker uh, Barlow. I love the micarta. So light. You have like uh, natural, um, what is it called? Not canvas, burlap. And then like a canvas, like a maroonish color, very dark. Super lightweight because there's no liners. This thing is beautiful. Love it. Look at the liner. They have like a black liner going all the way throughout. So light. Nice snap to it. Very nice pop. Absolutely beautiful. Love this one. Don't feel any transitions here. Great work. Here's a shot of their in-house folder, the glory folder. Let's see, I'm gonna kind of go in on here so you can get some pause and read. 
There you go. That's the backstory and all the good stuff right there. And then here's a shot of all of them. You got your desert ironwood. The first two are just regular. And then behind those two right there, you have your uh, G10 behind it. So it's good, it gives it a nice contrast. And they have a G10 liners behind those two as well. They, it's, I read that to give the desert ironwood some extra support. So they, they thought of all the stuff to do. Love the blade shape. I think it's a very cool folder. I showed it in the last video that I did with them. All awesome guys in here, always welcoming. Um, and then you got your Brad. I mean your uh, yeah your Bradford uh, Guardian Three, your Neck Necker, and your three and a half inch. Got your bigger one right there, and just some other stuff that they got in the shop. The Wyoming saw. Some Klein shears, some of the best heavy duty shears. I used to use those in the plant when I worked there. I gotta just take a picture for my car. And we got some leather goods in here as well. Waterproof bag right there, like a zipper bag. <coughs> nice decor in here. And they used to have, this used to be a tomahawk throwing station. <coughs> and these are their in-house. Very nice. The Mountain Man toy store, toy shop. Hickory. Yeah, hickory handles on there. Those are, are those hand forged heads? Yes. Yes, hand forged heads on these. Very nice. And then they got some Adlers as well. Nice cool setup right here. I um, definitely can appreciate it. Some hats, some huge antlers. We got some jackets here, some shirts, some cast iron pots. You have a Dutch oven right there. More of the rolls. These rolls are really nice. Heavy duty canvas. Um, I'm sure for different sizes because they got different size rolls. <laughs> you got some more of the antique cleavers. I, thought, I think those are super cool, especially if you're if you collect that kind of stuff. Very neat. <clears throat> some very nice canvas work aprons. <clears throat> I'm about to check into those. It's the work aprons, everyday apron. Be great for somebody in the shop. <clears throat> if I can ever get my shop built, I've got a wide selection of like kitchen utensils with the nice G10 handles. Sorry if the coloring is not that good because it's just the lighting because it's kind of gloomy out right now. You get some nice desert ironwood, very nice. Salt and pepper shakers up there, very nice. Some wood, wood stuff. Cutting board sets. Um, and some titanium spatulas. Some knife blocks, very cool. We'll go check in the knife cabinet. Start with their burden trout. And here's one in desert ironwood. I love this one. That curvature in the handle, really, really comfortable. All their fixed blades are an S35VN. Uh, Rockwell 26061, excellent. Ooh, that one's nice. Look at this. And a burl. Mosaic pins, nice and contoured, nice and thick. Really fill out the hand, nice. <clears throat> what kind of burl is it? Buckeye Burl, oh, I love Buckeye Burl. Very, very nice, nice and slicey. Sharpening toil, beautiful. Another new one, hopefully it's gonna come out. Look at that, must be another burl, like a dyed burl. Yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see, Box Elder. Cool, that's what my, my Nundi's in. Love this. Might have to get this one. Right, next one's the Outfitter. Same deal with the S35. Here's one in Desert Ironwood. This one's an awesome, like Hunter. Super comfortable. You got the coat bottle style handle, contoured. Very, very comfortable. Everything's rounded, softened. Um, they even knocked down this little area. Another sharp ring toil. Yeah, that is beautiful. Everything's got some nice finishing on it. 
nice mosaic pin, some um, looks like brass pins there too. Lanyard hole for the lanyard people that does have a tube in it. And that's their G Mascus right there. G10, like layer G10. It comes with that style too. All right, next up is their mini pairing knife. It's a cool little utility pairing. We'll go with the Desert Arm, we'll go again. That is a cool little, little uh, knife. I like the, like the sheep's foot. You can easily, you know, control that tip. Got a nice full size handle, S35 as well, like all of them. Nice Coke bottle handle. Their handles are amazing. So comfortable. And once again, you have a huge selection here. Uh, just a regular, looks like black G10 and all the different kinds of layered color G10. All right, we'll go to the, the regular size pairing. There's the pause and read. And we'll grab the desert ironwood. So you just have a longer blade here. Still excellent. It's got that pretty much straight style as well. Awesome. And there's the sheath, I'm guessing. That's the difference in the sheaths for the kitchen style knives. And this one is, I like this one a lot, the mini chopper. I love this one. It's kind of got like that Santuco blade shape almost. Skinny handle, but it's got some thickness to it. Very comfortable. This thing's probably nice and slicey like that. Love it. And next to the bigger version of that is the chopper. And we'll grab this one. Love it. Another like full size Santuco type. Awesome. And that deli knife. We're just gonna take a quick little peek at these because I'm trying not to be all day. They have a nice little steak set, steak knife set. Boop. The eight inch chef, pulley boy. Very nice. Teenage and to go. Yeah, they have like it's etched right in there. You have a nice handler style right here. Look how beautiful that desert iron wood is. Nine chef. Beautiful. Super bread. Super bread. Chris Care Special. It's a beat boy. And the carving set. And they have one of those vintage cleavers here, like I showed earlier. Here's one that I like a lot. This is their Western Chef. See the Western Chef. Love this. It's got like a clip point blade. This one's a little bit more weighty. Very, very comfortable. Look at the thickness in that. Everything's nice. You don't feel this transition right there. Very, very nice. Just it's, people have been touching it. It's very cleaned. I got two of those. They have some nice canvas uh, knife rolls right there. I'll show you, look like opened. They got these magnetic uh, knife blocks. Very nicely done there. As you can see on my here, that's the magnet knife blocks. That's what you want to use. And then here's one of the canvas rolls right here. You got one, two, three, four spots. And then it flaps over so you don't ruin any of your knives. Scratch them up, whatever. And there's all the sheaths for the different size knives. And of course you can buy sets of certain things. Very cool. And there's some more sets. Nice. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, I picked up two things from New West Knife Works that y'all have to wait and see. I'm pretty excited about them. 
And I got two shirts as well. One for me and my buddy Copper Dice. Um, if you have any questions about anything y'all saw, just uh, leave it down below. Let me know if y'all saw anything that y'all liked. Um, the people there were super nice and uh, definitely hope to be able to go back there one day. I, I, I went to their Jackson Hole store first and then uh, I had noticed the name and recognized it. And that's whenever I decided to go myself. So, hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I'm going to uh, spend some time with the family, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.